yeah welcome back thank you so much for joining us so we're we're playing in none other than the valyrian continent awesome yeah and how are we doing that we're playing with the colonized valyria submod and that was a little difficult to find like the um it's a little difficult to find the to find the um the correct submod when i first like up uh, when they put out the new um a game of thrones um mod for ck2 like everything ran great but when i was running the colonized valyria mod sub mod on it it kept crashing the desktop so i was like really bummed because i don't know i just like having valyria in the background even if i'm just like totally focused on westeros it's cool to know like there's rulers over here that are just doing stuff so I said screw it, like, we're playing with the weirdos, and long story short, I went over this in episode zero, we're playing in a randomized world, so brand new, brand new kingdoms, um, high lordships are the same, but they're part of brand new kingdoms, and um, yeah, we're going to be playing in the Valyrian continent, um, we're playing with Lady Sienna of House Lager, a custom character. This is going to be a custom courtier series too. So if you have a character that you want to get submitted, just again, um, yeah, all of the instructions are in episode zero. Go check that out. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, I get really invested in the characters. Um, we kind of like take on the the traits of the character, and um, yeah, let's actually take this little moment to recap who we're actually playing as. So again, Lady Sienna, House Lager. Um, she's uh, we're not gonna go over the traits, but her backstory is that she's uh, she's connect she's got connections to the free city of Gagos. Um, she was um, friends with. Let's go ahead and add that right now. She was friends with. Harlania of House Baharan from the free city of Gagos because Harlania's parents adopted her from a whore orphanage, an orphanage for whore babies. Word. So they legitimized her and gave her the house name Lager um, because she was Valyrian and they thought that was um, a respectful thing to do. Word. So her and I are actually friends. Let's go ahead and make that a reality. Awesome, and if we go to friends, no, nothing happened, okay. Why didn't anything happen? Let's go. 9901055833. That's correct. Okay, so it did work. So there you go. Um, Harlani and I are friends, which is great because of exactly everything I just detailed. And um, there was some war that happened. Um, and because um, Lady Sienna, she grew up um, basically. Um, training trying to like earn her worth um you know she was a bastard she was legitimized she was adopted she had all that like stuff going on and she really tried to um just focus focus everything on like command so she read a lot of books about like successful like conquerors and all of that stuff and really loved battle really loved the glory that could be found on battle um, so she went into training. She convinced uh, Herlania's parents to folk, let her focus on training. And um, even though that's not really what like Harlania was about, Harlania was really more into kind of like conniving and you, you know um, she was you know not mean to to Sienna, but kind of like cruel to everybody else. So. Um, Sienna really grew up always kind of like protecting Harlania. You know, that's kind of like their dynamic 
you know, Harlanio would do something stupid and Sienna would be there to kind of like punch somebody in the face or something like that. But Sienna went off. She, you know, um, enlisted in some a mercenary group. And when um, Harlanio had a, an issue with some um, adventurers, um, word, she... Yeah, and I'm literally, like, making this up as I go. Uh, and that's what's so, like, fun about this series, because we're actually going to have to, like, keep up with this. Um, but she reached out to um, Harlania, that is. She reached out to Sienna to kind of, like, hey, you've got to help me. Like, you know, I've got these invaders, and um, there's nothing I can do. They're going to take over the free city. Like, we hired a bunch of cell swords, but they can't get it done. I need you to lead my people, and they know you. They'll believe in you. They'll say you're the white-haired, purple-eyed weirdo, big-cheeked weirdo that came back to, like, save everybody. Or, of course, you know, honor commands her, you know, or honor demands, right? Because we're playing the Game of Thrones. And she said, all right, because of, like, what your parents did for me and because, of, you know, we're, we're best friends. You know, I'll come back and do this, you know, for you, just for honor. Don't want anything for it. So that happens, and there's a huge battle over here because the forces were based out of Egris. They, um, let's kind of like figure this out, like right now. What is the du jour region for um, Egris? So Egris is actually a du jour. Uh, territory of the kingdom of Gelios, which is actually ruled right now by a um, race of Gelios who doesn't really like us. And why? Because um, because we should be a part of her kingdom, and she's right. She's right. Um, but those invaders were like traitors to. Um, to her kingdom, kingdom of Gelios, and they broke faith, and they just ended up rolling Egris by themselves, and they plan to invade the free city of Gagos, because they're like, it's a free city, they can subjugate the people there, and, you know, Gagos wasn't having that, so there we are, that's kind of like the backdrop, word, amazing word, Stizzy, word, thank you, thank you, so, Sienna leads, uh, yeah, let's like make it all dramatic. Sienna leads a, a underwhelming group of, of men, um, instead of going across land and through the kingdom of Gelios and see how this is working so well, because they wouldn't be allowed passage, right? Because the kingdom of Gelios didn't want to help out the kingdom of Gagos, um, because... Um, the kingdom of Gagos felt that if they defeated the invaders, they should get the territory of Egris. The kingdom of Gelios didn't agree with that, but they weren't willing to get involved because they didn't have as many men as the kingdom of Gagos. And they're um, led by this kind of like renowned warrior that's come back home to kind of like, you know, um, get the job done. So they could have teamed up with the invaders, but then they would lose honor because those invaders from Egris um, and will kind of like custom put them in. Or you know what? How about you guys like make up some, make up like the backstory for the invaders, like their house name, all of that stuff, and then I'll have to like put it into like the game and shit like that. Or but we could do that. We can actually, and we'll get back to the story, right? But we can actually have and add previous rulers to the house uh, to the lordship of Egris. you know even though these guys are here we could just kind of like or just like play around with the save file and do it it's not that hard or so we'll leave that up that's actually a request um get me some backstory on the invaders from Egris that broke face with the kingdom of gelios and seceded from the kingdom of gelios to try to take over the free, of, free city of Gagos. All right, so all of that's happening. And um, well, let's actually run the game. All of that is happening. And um, yeah, that classic battle over the Valyrian Straits happens. Um, because um, 
yeah, you know, um, Sienna couldn't go through Gelios, so she becomes famous, crosses over, and um, in that battle, um, where's her famous, no, it doesn't, it doesn't do that yet, hold on, um, in that battle, kind of like, um, kills a lot of people, and um, ends up kind of like beating the invaders from Igris, and um, because of that, um, she gets bestowed, you know, the lordship of Igris and the high lordship of Igris. And here we are. And that is who we are playing with. So the goal of this playthrough is, I'm not even freaking sure, but we've got a pretty good story. And I'm proud of that. Um, but yeah, let's actually take this moment to kind of like look at our world. So this is the current world right now. As it is. Up here, I would say the threats are probably like this room, because this is like freaking huge. The realm of the kingdom of Krajvisha. So everything is feudal now, which is great. Which is great. I'm not really a fan of like the nomad stuff. You got a couple merchant republics here and there, but for the most part, everything is feudal. Let's check out governments. Yeah, you see? You got a couple of feudal places, tribal places, of course, like, you know, beyond the wall is like all tribal, and, you know, the hills, clansmen area are tribal, then you got the feudal areas. And I think you got a couple of ch 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 theocracies, too, let's see. No, no theocracies, that is crazy. Yeah, oh, you got one theocracy, this has to be it. Yep, here you go. We said they were limited. They must be more like this way. Alright, so again, like, the entire world is basically, like, feudal now. And, um, this, these are the realms. Alright, so this is currently what we're dealing with. These are actually the du jour regions. So these are, like, what the kingdoms are. So let's check this out. And this is really interesting. We'll go back to kind of like Valyria, but right? We all love Westeros. So in Westeros, we've actually got, um, yeah, we've got the Kingdom of the North Clans. Awesome. What is this kingdom? Then you've got the Kingdom of the Dreadfort. Got the Kingdom of the Robes, I would assume. And you've got the Kingdom of White Harbor. And what is this? This is just the north. Okay, and the north is literally just like two lordships. And I'm not even sure how that constitutes a kingdom. But it's Bear Island and Moat Caitlin. Okay. And that is part of the seven kingdoms of Westeros. Wow. That is like really small. Okay. So let's actually check out like what empire is the kingdom of Last Hearth or the kingdom of the North Plains a part of. Empire of Milkwater. Okay. So this is what the Empire of Milkwater looks like. Isn't this like... I just love this shit. Yeah, because this is like... What What kind of... Okay. So let's see what Empire... The Kingdom of the Dreadfort is a part of. Empire of Northweld. Okay. This is freaking huge. Wow. See White Harbor. If White Harbor is even a part of it. Empire of White Harbor. Okay. It's Fairly small. Kind of like the same kingdom. Yeah, it's literally like, yeah, just the kingdom of White Harbor. Okay. Alright, and down here. Well, yeah, let's just put on like the De Jure Empire tab, right? Smart, Desi Smart. So these are empires. Awesome. We've got Milkwater, we've got Northweld, we've got Westeros. 
We've got Cornwell. We've got the Prince Pass, which is huge. We've got Duskendale. We've got River Run. We've got Gulltown. Okay, we've got Pentos to the east. We've got Gulltown. Gulltown is huge, okay? It's two continents. That is cool. That is cool. Pentos is as well. Lease is all of this. The Pirate Islands as well. Lower Rhone. Okay, Salosh. Okay, Lozosh. Empire of Geese. Alright. Empire of Valyria is. I wonder where Valyria ends and Rios is. Okay, so all of this is Rios. And all of this is Valyria. Has to be. Yep, okay. Alright, awesome. Alright, so now let's actually like freaking play. Alright, and this is our this is our basically our world. Awesome. Love it. Let's see if we can get to episode three. Alright, so we've got a message. Uh, my young courtier Alex has finished his education. With complete lack of guidance, he still tried to his best to study diplomacy. Why did he end up a gruff diplomat? Oh, sorry. All right, cool. All right, so let's check out our council. All right. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna want to do, as the yeah, first thing we're gonna really want to do is we're gonna want to take over this this lordship. The Lordship of Marble Mountains. Let's see if we can get them to yeah. force vacillation. Okay, we can't really do that yet. So yeah, that's gonna be our first goal. Take over this little piece of land and take over this piece of land. So the Lordship of the Marble and the Lordship of by Noros are going to be our first two targets so we've got us to get a, a pretty good council and um, if you guys want to be part of the council just kind of like email me well not email me but like just make sure like he's better than like the council member I'm about to get we're definitely setting up the council this episode word alright so who can we bring in as as Castellan Okay, okay, so we're not going to be able to use, uh, these, these people really, like, suck. Wow, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can do better now. No, they still suck, okay. So, um, alright, this guy doesn't seem bad. Um, uh, Jacaris probably butchering that but it's whatever alright so not a bad castellan as merchant is yeah uh, stewardship is pretty good um, he's a skilled steward craven he's soft but that's not like what we need him for okay so he should be here in a couple of days let's see uh, if we can get a better um, justicear and we can he's pentoshi alright is um um, his um, state diplomacy is a 19, so that's pretty good. We'll invite him to court. Um, Master at Arms, yeah, man, this guy's really bad. Oh, well, we've got somebody with really good um, Marshall in 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 house. Yeah, so we'll stick with him. But we'll still invite this Gagosi to um, to come join us. Yeah. And this Gagosi is Nakaro. He actually followed us um, and fought with us in the Battle of the Valyrian Straits. Now he's joining my court. Alright, so let's go ahead and appoint them as they come in. Alright, there we go. Got a brand new Castellan. Alright, yeah, I know. You guys are probably like, yeah, but you're pissing off like your vassals. Like, I'm probably going to 
yeah, you guys want to be like, you know, like, what is it? Whatever these guys are. Like, what is this guy? Like, is he running like a city? Or, yeah, he's running a city. You guys want to be like the mayor of a city? I don't care. Like, uh, the master of a city, I'll, like, send me a courtier and I'll, like, put him in. I don't care. Right. But I'm not really too, like, hung up on these guys being pissed off at me. Word. Alright, so our friend Nakaro came in. Awesome. Well, let's get that brand new Justice Art, Daro. He'll be in, and let's send him to work and right away to Marble. Great. Go ahead and appoint a brand new uh, Mass at Arms. Let's get him training troops in whatever this is, Pyrus. Or that's headquarters, so we should probably have somebody good there. Alright, then we can put like this guy back there. Mm, do I have anything better? Probably not. Right? Up the ticker just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. This guy is available now. And his stewardship is actually at a 20. Alright, so he'll be my treasurer. This is Magon. He's currently the master at arms for um, Lady Umbaria. He's about to like run the money for the for the realm. Let's go ahead, bring him in. Thank you for working for me. Let's collect some taxes. Let's send you to the capital. And let's get a court physician. Oh, okay, we got a smart guy here. Tagon, he's a courtier. Storm singer, she's not bad. Okay, we'll keep her in. And that is our council. Okay. Awesome. So we're now currently waiting uh, for our first claim to come in. And this is where kind of like we could like twitter our thumbs or we could like um, start like, like, I don't know. I have no idea. But let's just like play. Fuck it. All right. So the goal is going to be to take, expand our realm and take over these two territories. And um, while we do that, we're probably going to need to get married sooner or later because we got to start having kids. Word. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get married now. Screw it. Um, our focus is going to be war so that we can have a higher marshal and more troops. Um, okay. We have, like... All right. So these, this house is, like, the house that originally, like was supposed to be playing as the lords or the high lord of Igris, but since I created this character, I kind of like pushed him out. So this is interesting, sir. We're actually going to keep a tab on this house. So check this out. And she likes me, which is good. So let's go ahead and uh, make her a t character of special interest. Um, let's get her married, or let's get her married matrilineally, right? Um, and that is Mira a house Myrta. So what I was, where I was getting to, and I think I kind of like got off track, and I do that a lot. It's like fuck it. Um, but they're the house that was supposed to have this original high lordship. Then I created my character, and then I kind of like pushed her out. So um, not a bad character. She would have actually been me. Right, I just decided not to play with her. So she's actually pretty good on the intrigue. So let's kind of like pair her up with a character that's higher in intrigue. And she's going to marry this character matrilineally to carry the Mertis name. Alright. So she's married now. She's got two kids. And because they're in my court, I've got to make sure that like they're, you know, like good. Alright. So the first character that she's got, or the first kid that she's got... Is Ciala, um, where everybody knows what it sounds like, but she's pretty good on like reading and fighting, um, and she's probably gonna be like better at fighting. So we'll have her like with heritage is not an issue, faith is an issue. Eh. Idolize that should be pretty good. And her son, let's go to him. He's good on intrigue, so let's get him brooding. 
All right, so we chose the struggle, educational childhood focus. So um, the kids in our court are currently doing pretty good. Um, let's check this out. We got a message from our master at arms. Your master at arms has come to you with the suggestion. My lady, is it is that my opinion that Nakara would make an excellent military commander. I suggest that we make use of his talents for the good of the realm. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Huh. Very well. Good. Good job. All right. Yeah, and I think we're wrapping up this episode. So, um, yeah, um, we've got our council together. We've um, set up some childhood focus for some people in our court. Um, we set up our focus. Now, our ambition is going to be to... Screw it. Let's obtain a dragon egg. Why not? You know what? No. Let's expand our realm by conquest. Yeah, I like that better. All right. And yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you guys for being here. Um, we've officially made it to episode two. Um, let's hope for episode three. And yeah, we're looking for custom courtiers. I actually want some. Um, I need some custom invaders. Uh, give me a good backstory. I'll try to like weave it in. Um, if I've got some energy to, to, um, but yeah, you guys be good. You guys be safe and, um, word episode three probably is not going to come out for like a week being straight up with you guys. Like I'm freaking like busy. Um, but word, um, hold on. Some shit just happened. I think in good ghosts, who is invading good ghosts? So the ghost is currently having a slave raid. Oh, okay. They're just getting raided for slaves. It's cool. Whatever. All right, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. You guys be good. You guys be safe. And yeah, episode three isn't coming out for like, word, like another week. All right, so I'm um, plenty of time to get in those character submissions. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully we get to like 10 episodes. You guys be good. Peace. Bye.